Well, hello everyone, thanks for tuning into KT Garage. Today we're gonna to work on the Fox Body stereo system. And as you all know, the original equipment comes with a single DIN stereo, super old technology. And these days, everybody owns a classic car, upgrade the system with some kind of a um, car play, Apple play, uh, that's uh, kind of modernized, is allow you to, you know, uh, use your phone to to do all kinds of stuff. And so anyway, uh, I decided to, uh, to upgrade the, uh, the 90 uh, Fox body that I'm, I'm working on uh, with this double DIN. And so there, there's a couple of options out there uh, as far as bracket goes. So these, there's a design that, uh, that I got this from eBay and what they do is they would allow you to move your your AC and heat control down to the bottom and then cut some some metal structure inside and, uh, and they'll let you mount the stereo the double in stereo on top this required quite a bit of work actually and uh, now that I look into the installation uh, procedure there's several uh, guys on YouTube that post the videos on it looks pretty complicated so I bought it by changed my mind I want to do something else so uh, I did further research and there's another kit that all they sell you is this plate right here and these adapters and what you do is you mount these on each side of your stereo and, uh, and you bolt it to the bottom so it's gonna look it's gonna look like this actually so your he heating controller is still on top and you use the ex existing uh, bezel for that and then, and then you're gonna have your double din on the bottom. And uh, look into my setup, the, the bottom is completely empty, so I, I think it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty easy to install it. You're just gonna put the, wing, uh, the, uh, the adapter on each side, push it in, put the four bolts on, and you're done. So I'm gonna go through like the entire setup, you guys, so, so you know what to expect when you put one of these in. Uh, now let's talk about this uh, this unit for a little bit. Uh, I, I only spent seventy dollars, actually sixty nine dollars from Amazon. It's a uh, it's a uh, non name brand um, uh, equipment, and uh, the reason why I picked this is that I only use this Fox body like once in a while, and I really don't want to spend four or five hundred dollars on a unit like a Sony or JVC or whatever. Um, I'm only gonna use this for a little bit, so uh, I wanna save my money and, and get one of these. Uh, another reason why I got these is that it's a seven inch system, uh, but look at this. It's only three and a half inch depth. Uh, so I figure, you know, since uh, it's a new installation, I don't know what kind of clearance in the back. I wanna get something that that's, has really, you know, short uh, depth, so. Three and a half inches is not too bad, so I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna fit in just fine. So those are those are the reasons that uh, uh, why I picked this cheap unit. And some of you guys probably give me a hard time and say, "Hey, why are you uh, putting on a cheap unit on uh, on on a car that uh, that you you love to drive on?" Uh, it's okay, you know. I like I said, I, I only use the stereo once in a while. And guess what? If this breaks or something, uh, I can upgrade it later. The wiring system is going to be super simple anyway so uh, i'm going to give it a try for 70 dollars i'm going to give it a try so here's my existing unit and you can see that somebody already tried to put a, an after market sing, single din in here and uh who did this did a horrible job at mounting because it's like this thing is not even stable like you can just move things around so my plan is just to get all this stuff out of here. And this person didn't even try to secure anything in here. So uh, the stereo works. It's just like it's sitting there. And check this out. From the way it looks, I mean, if you look in here, it's completely empty in there. Uh, so uh, I, I'm just gonna find a way to, to get that uh, double den in here without having to relocate this down because getting this down is not going to be easy 
uh, you're stretching a whole lot of stuff. You gotta get your 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 wires stretched and and all of that, and cutting a bunch of steel structures in the inside. It's a lot easier to just put it down here. Well, guys, here's an easier way to identify which speaker wire goes where. Since I know that this system is working, I'm I'm just gonna play the stereo. I'm gonna disconnect these wires. I know there's four. There's eight different connections to four speakers, to front to rear. And if I disconnect one at a time, I know which one it is. I'm gonna mark it, and uh, that that way I just hook the new one up to these wires instead of uh, going through and doing some research on the Fox body speaker wire uh, through the uh, through the uh, the code the color code. It's a lot simpler to do this. So these are what I took out from the car and they're, they're like really simple to work with. So I was talking about before identifying which wires which. So what I did was I just tried to pull them one at a time and identify where they go. So I label them like PRs, passenger rear and so on and so forth. There, there's eight of these already labeled. And then this one I pulled out, a bunch of wire, I really didn't care what all this stuff is. All it is is a full-time 12 volt, which is the yellow. And then ignition 12 volt is a red one. And then the black one is ground. So just need three of these. The rest of these I just cap off because I really don't need to use them for this simple application. And then uh, this come from the stereo uh, unit. And there's a lot of unused things here. It says key one, key two. I don't use it. And then you see there's a yellow. This yellow is going to go with this other yellow here. That's the full time 12 volt. There's a ignition red. That's going to hook up to that red. And then, of course, the crown. So uh, that's all I'm going to be installing. Uh, there, this one say illumination. And uh, this is just to, you know, you can adjust the, uh, the voltage on these from your car to make it brighter or not so bright. So I think I'm just going to leave this one out. So all I'm going to connect is these three wires right here, yellow, red, and black. And then, of course, there's a blue one that's a power antenna. I'm not going to use it. Uh, reverse. And uh, th this is, I think this is just to uh, activate the camera. There's a camera that came with it. I'm not gonna install the camera. Uh, I, I just don't wanna spend the time doing it. And there's a couple of other ones that I'm not gonna use. So really, really simple. And then here's another one of these, the, the A of these. These are speaker wire. So these in the manual will tell you what color goes where in the car. So A of these is going to go to A of these, and uh, I'm done. It's, it's that simple. Well, guys, this is a really cool way to solder your wires. Uh, conventionally, uh, you use these uh, twist uh, knobs to twist your wires, and you know it, it works, but it's not going to be reliable, and at some point, it's going to um, it's going to come loose. So. What you do is you go to Amazon and buy yourself these new uh, solder techniques. It's really cool, it comes in different sizes. So uh, all you need to do is just uh, stick one side in. And th there's a piece of solder that's right in the middle uh, that you're gonna be heating it up and it's gonna melt. So I'm gonna hook up my uh, front, uh, front left, white and white. Uh, it's gonna go in. And as you can see that I, uh, I'm just gonna push it in from both sides and make sure the two wires meet each other right in the middle where where the um, where the lead is. And uh, let me see. I'm, I'm just gonna go find my heat gun right here, and we're gonna heat it up until the solder melts.
I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera so you guys can, you guys can see it. Let me see. Doesn't seem to zoom very well. Let me see here if I can zoom it in a little for you. Yeah, you can see that the uh, the solder it melts and uh, it, it's it's kind of just bonded to to your uh, to your wire. So now now you completely secure your wire a wire connection. Now we go ahead and get the rest of these done. Well, the wiring is done. You can see it's super simple. Uh, I finished up the rest with these kind of solder connections. They're really nice and they, uh, they're watertight as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, moisture getting in. And so uh, so these two, these two sides are gonna go in the back of the stereo. And then these two is gonna, it's gonna go to the car. And that is it. Uh, as soon as I plug it in, everything is going to work just fine. So in the back of stereo, there's two of those. So you just got to find the connect, uh, the, the right um, place to connect it. And you, you get it installed just like that. A little, little clip that, uh, that goes on there. You push it in, locks it. That is it. I'm gonna take both of these and then plug into the car. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this in and see if everything is uh, working the way I thought it would. So let's see here, this one. This one. There we go. I just turned the ignition on. Ah, here we go. Oh, the radio went on, so that's good. I haven't plugged up the, the antenna yet. So, I got some music in here. Let's see if it's a USB charging. USB. Oh, very nice. It, it just picks it up right away. I'm gonna go around and check to see if all the speakers are working. All right, all the speakers are working just fine. I wonder where the volume is at. Here we go. Okay, so now everything is working well as far as hookup goes. I wanna see if I can get this mounted in. Seems like there's sufficient space in here. Check it out. It, it fits like perfectly. That's like probably a quarter of an inch slack on each side. So I'm gonna go get that bracket on and then uh, we'll see if we can get everything fitted in. So now that all the electrical hookup is done, we're gonna focus on the hardware, trying to get it in, assemble properly, make it look nice. So. First thing I did with this little trim ring that comes with a unit. I have to take that out because it doesn't fit into this uh, this kit. Now this blade fit like perfectly into the slot. So I'm gonna mount it just like this. And uh, so first thing first, we're gonna have to get these two these two brackets on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that right now. What you wanna do is and get this on, get it nice and flush, so you know where this piece is going to be when you bolt it down. Because this is the inner piece. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of bolts on here. Yeah, the holes lined up, so makes it real easy.
Well, guys, when you're done with it, this will be flush in the back. So when you, you bolt it to the, uh, from the front, it's nice and flush. So it's gonna look just like that. These two are flush on each side. I just put a couple of really short uh, screws on each side to there. And uh, we're gonna see if we can just get this in the car. All right, so let's see if we can get this in. Oh, do we have to trim anything? So this is the way it is. The way I found it, I'm not sure the guy before me did any trimming, but it looked like everything is stock. So, let me get this out first. Well, looked like it uh, fit perfectly. Not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes so I can mount it properly. Well guys, I'm just gonna drill pilot holes and I know where to drill. I'll take all of this out. Yeah, this, this seems to be small enough to for a hole for the screws to come in, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill it. I'm going to connect it back on. This is going to be the final assembly. These connectors are, uh, they just connect it right on. There we go. So that's it. Let's see where's the top. Yep, that's the top. Stuff snaked in there. Plenty of space. Like the, the holes are misaligned for some reason. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start bolting it on.
one guys this is a really nice install everything lines up perfectly and it looks like it, uh, it meant to be there so let's see if it's gonna load up ah oh you know what uh, I, I forgot to connect the antenna so I'm just gonna have to take those four bolts out hooked up the antenna in the back but that's no big deal let's just test to see if all the speakers are working Guy, that's it we're done it's uh, it's a really simple job uh, I believe it's taking a total of probably two hours or less uh, for the entire hookup it's really simple so um, I definitely recommend this method uh, instead of uh, trying to trying to move the uh, the AC and, and heat controller down and cut all the brackets inside uh, it, it's just gonna take you all day to do it so this is very simple love it Glad it's done. Now I can move on and do something else on this uh, on this fucked body. Uh, I guess a couple of more weeks uh, before the temperature cool down, uh, enough for me to start working on my other projects outside. So I only got a couple of weeks left on this project, and then I'm probably uh, I'm probably gonna just stop work, working on it uh, on it until next year. Uh, so this is more of a, uh, a summer project. But I, I get quite a bit done. Uh, the, the only thing left is to do some body work, paint it, and the interior is almost done already. So I really look forward to, to get this project done and start driving it. I, I really love this Fox body. Um, it's, it's kind of a, my favorite car back in high school. Uh, of course, I couldn't afford it back then. So, um, uh, but now I get to uh, drive it again. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys tuning into KT Garage. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.